So I think we're almost all here. If not, people can pop in. So let's get started. Let me know if anything comes up. My family is not online, so hopefully we won't get uh, frozen. Um, and we'll start in Shavasana, as we often do. On your back, comfortable. Let's bring it back inwards. And have a nice movement for the next hour. <laughs> oh, Trudy's got a blanket. I'm getting my blanket. I know. Get cozy. <laughs> Get cozy. <laughs> it's only like minus nine outside. It's warm today. <laughs> oh, yeah. So settle into a comfortable position. Grab a pillow if you need, grab a blanket. You can bend your knees, straighten your knees, whatever is comfortable. And I'd just like you to turn inward in the sense of starting to refocus your breath oh. and your awareness. I'm going to also mute you all. So we minimize the feedback. There we go. So just spend the next couple minutes allowing yourself the space to be able to focus on only breathing, only breathing and only your body. When the wandering thoughts come, the what ifs, the shoulds, the coulds, the list of to do's float into your mind. Just acknowledge that and allow them to pass on. It's the basics of mindfulness or meditation. The never ending cycle of quieting the mind and creating some space for just being. Notice how your breath feels this morning. Working towards lengthening your inhale. and fully, fully emptying your exhale. Imagining as you inhale, you're creating space in your body with your breath. And then with your exhale, just allowing everything to soften a little bit more. Letting the back of your neck grow longer, the back of your head grow heavier. Letting your shoulder blades just connect more to your mat, your collarbones broaden, heart center, chest opens as you inhale, softens as you exhale. Breathe into the back body, let your lower back, your pelvis, connect a little more down into the mat. Let your thighs, your knees, your shins, your calves, your ankles, your feet. Just get a little more relaxed.
take your deepest inhale yet and your furthest, completest exhale. And just maybe set an intention for your practice today, whether it's just breath led, whether it's creating a feeling of openness, whatever word or feeling or phrase might resonate for you today. On your next inhale, let's reach those arms all the way up overhead, straighten your legs, Clasp your fingers and flip the palms to the back of your room. Point and flex your ankles, your feet. Take several deep, deep breaths and just lengthen through the side body. And just notice what you notice. Full inhales, full exhales. And then you can softly bring those arms down. Let's inhale, hug knees towards the chest. Relax the shoulders away from your ears. Get the back of the neck nice and long. Just gently hug the knees in. You can always hug underneath the knees if that's more comfortable. And then just a little rocking from side to side. Notice how your hips feel, your spine. Keep the spine nice and long. Again, relax through the shoulders. Rocking from side to side. Now, let's keep those knees together and create circles with the knees on the ceiling. So I'm drawing the knees together and towards and then tracing them in a circle away. I roll up off my glutes. So the spine flexes a little and then relaxes. And just moving through that. So into a little bit more hip flexion out of it. And then let's reverse directions. Going in the opposite direction, just massaging the lower back, the sacrum, the pelvis. And then back to stillness, we'll do the same thing, but we'll take the knees apart and circle the knees on the ceiling. So knees come nice and wide. And then join together away from you, pull them towards you. Great, nice, big circles. So circling the thighs in the hip joint. And again, just noticing. Nice full movement there. And then as you come back up through center, let's just reverse that direction. So circling the knees on the ceiling, moving in the opposite direction. Make sure you're breathing, your back body's relaxed, and then come back to center. Take a nice inhale, hug the knees into the chest a little more, and then straighten your right leg long. Keep hugging the left knee in, flex your foot. So you've got good integrity through the strong straight leg and then softening that knee on the left towards your chest. Roll the shoulders away from the ears and reach the back of the neck long. As you inhale, create length. And as you exhale, just soften the left knee to chest. Notice what you notice there. And then we're just gonna come into lying tree position. So I'm gonna take that left foot on the inside of the right thigh. You can certainly lower the leg down to the shin if that feels more comfortable. But we're gonna see if we can find integrity in a lying tree pose. So we wanna prevent the body from rolling left. So I'm gonna anchor the right side of the body down. And then I'm gonna actively press the left knee down to the floor. I'll feel my left glute tighten. And then let's reach those arms all the way overhead, just like you would be in standing tree position. So 
So again, reaching through the fingertips, reaching through the straight right leg, flexing the right foot like you're standing on it and working towards opening up that left hip, left knee to floor. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale, relax. Let's bring the arms down, bend the right knee, cross the left ankle over the right thigh, creating that figure four stretch. Find the alignment here first. Actively reach the left knee away. Don't let yourself roll towards the left. Either staying here or reaching down to hug behind the right thigh and gently pulling the right thigh towards you. So find the balance between drawing the right leg towards you and reaching the left knee away. It's definitely a good stretch of the outside left hip and thigh. See if you can keep your tailbone more connected to the mat so you're just not rolling your whole pelvis off the mat. That way you'll bypass the stretch of the hips. You can let your right knee relax and just breathe into that restriction. Again, if that's too intense or there's too much struggle to hold the thigh, just drop that right knee and that foot back to the floor. Now let's place the right foot back down into the mat, still in the figure four position. Take your arms to a T, palms can be up or down, and then just allow the legs to roll right. So I'm in quite the twist now. If it's too much, just uncross the left ankle off the knee. And then while I'm the twist here, work towards lengthening the spine. So reach the tailbone away, take the curve out of the lower back, draw the chest down into the body, draw the rib cage down into the body. Work towards anchoring your left foot on the floor. So there's definitely some effort in this twist. I'm gonna think about rolling my left bum back to the mat. And I get quite the pull along that left hip bone, all up into the side body for me. I can gently reach the left knee away. So in your poses, it's almost this constant cycle of finding space, length, and integrity in the pose. So rather than thinking of going deeper into a stretch or deeper into a pose, consider the alignment, consider the nature of the movement. And then it's like little by little, so I reach the left knee away. I pull the spine back out of the arch. Anchor my left foot. As I do that, I start to lose the other two pieces. So just keep repeating all while breathing. Let's unwind there. Come back to center. Uncross the knees. Bring the feet as wide as your yoga mat. And just gently windshield wiper the knees from side to side. Just kind of notice what you notice there. Awesome, back up to center. Inhale, hug both knees into chest. Reset. This time we'll take a nice inhale. And as we exhale, we'll straighten the left leg long. Hugging the right knee in towards the chest, either on top of the shin or underneath the knee. Flex your left foot, draw your shoulders away from your ears, take a big breath in for the length. Exhale, soften right knee to chest. So the integrity here is an active, straight, lengthening left leg and a mobile moving into flexion right hip. One more deep breath in, exhale, knee to chest. 
Let's unwind that, find our lying tree pose. So sliding the left foot towards the, or sorry, the right foot towards the left thigh. Wherever you can find the balance between not rolling to your right. So there needs to be enough length for the inner thigh muscles here. Find a strong, straight, active left leg and then actively pull the right knee down to the floor. So I have to keep active on both sides so one doesn't overtake the other. Breathing into that, either staying here or reaching those arms all the way up overhead. Reach the fingertips away as you flex your left foot like you're standing on that leg, opening up that right hip. So there's definitely some effort into the pose. Let's take a couple deep breaths in here. And then unwind, bring the arms back down. We're gonna bend the left knee, place the foot on the mat, take the right ankle over the left thigh. So find that figure four position again. Make sure both sides of the pelvis are down to the mat. Take the shoulder blades away from the ears, back of the neck long. Actively reach the right knee away a little. And then either staying here or reaching down and hugging the left thigh towards you. Readjust the back of your neck here. Your chin will wanna pop up towards the ceiling. Just draw your chin down a little. Make sure the back of the neck's long. And then again, find the balance here as you gently hug the left thigh towards you, but still just gently reaching the right knee away. Notice if you're gripping or holding in your pelvic floor. I tend to do that a lot. So as I inhale, I imagine my breath goes all the way down into the pelvis. I get some breath into the groin, the fist bones widen. And as I exhale, it just softens. Again, tailbone long. So working towards not rolling the whole pelvis off the mat. Reach the pelvis, the tailbone back down to the mat. And then draw the thigh towards you. So the movement through the hips. Let's gently place that left foot back down to the mat, readjust here, take a breath in. And as we exhale, we're just gonna fall the knees to the left. Again, in quite the twist, if that's too much, you can always untuck and stack the feet. And then see how this compares to the other side. So my arms are relaxed, a little bit away from the side body. I'm anchoring the right foot down, trying to get my big toe down, my pinky toe, and the whole heel. I'm gonna gently reach the knee away, but then draw the ribs down into the body and reach the tailbone away. So I want the spine long. I'm definitely twisted through the shoulders and the upper back to be able to keep the back to the mat. Then the lower back is straight, and then there's a twist through the pelvis and the hips. So it's definitely a little bit more of an active twist. Take one more deep breath here. Exhale, relax. And on your next inhale, let's unwind. Feet on the mat, knees bent, feet as wide as your yoga mat, gently windshield wipe of the knees from side to side and just see where you're at now. See how those hips feel. Awesome. Now we're gonna prepare to come up to standing so we can roll up to standing if you'd like, or you can make your way up any way you choose. So we can hug the knees into the chest, start to rock and roll a little, and come all the way up into standing. I'm gonna adjust my 
camera a little bit. There we go. Okay. So we're going to go through a little bit of a flow today. Remember to be breath led. And as we move through chaturanga or the lowering of a push up, if you find it's hard on your shoulders, your back, anything, just drop your knees first, okay? So first, before we move through flow, we're gonna do chair pose, so ukatasana. So as you're standing here, find your tadasana pose. So anchor the four corners of your feet, big toe, pinky toe, inside, outside heels. Really lift through the pelvis, roll the shoulders back. We'll inhale, take the arms all the way up to the ceiling, feel the palms, Bring the hands into heart center and then sit your hips back into Utkatasana. Definitely not a CrossFit squat, right? So I'm kind of thumb back in that pose. So this is our yoga chair pose. And we're just going to take three deep breaths here. So breath in. Exhale. Good, take one more deep breath in. And then as we exhale, we're gonna twist and lower the bum. Take the outside um, right thigh to left elbow. We wanna reach the bum back, but we wanna twist up to the ceiling. The thighs are definitely starting to work now. See if you can make that twist through the upper body. Then we'll inhale back through center and twist to the other side. This is a harder twist for me. So I'm gonna try and level out my hips. So bum's reaching back evenly. I'm noticing my big toes are floating off the mat. I'm gonna anchor my big toes down and I'm gonna press the outside elbow into the thigh. See if I can twist that upper body towards the ceiling. One more deep breath in. Exhale, relax. Inhale, back through center, forward fold. So bend your knees, let your head hang. Reach the hips towards the ceiling. You can let your chest relax on your thighs and just take a couple breaths in your forward fold. On your next inhale, let's slowly just roll all the way up to standing. Good, now we'll move through our flow. So inhale, arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, hands down through heart center, fold. As you inhale, lift the chest, straighten the spine, half back stretch. Exhale, fold. Place the hands on the mat, step back, plank. And as you exhale, lower down through chaturanga all the way to your tummy. As you inhale, come up into baby cobra or upward dog. Exhale, soften down, tuck your toes, move back through child's pose. Inhale, lift the hips, downward dog. Let's spend a couple breaths here. Find your downward dog. You can pedal your feet. Soften your knees and reach your hips to the ceiling. Spine should be straight. Hug the biceps towards your ears. On your next inhale, let's walk your feet back up into your forward fold. Take a big breath here. Exhale, relax. Inhale, roll all the way up. Tadasana. Good. Okay, moving on. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart center, forward fold. Inhale, half back stretch. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands, step back, plank as you inhale. Exhale, down through chaturanga all the way to your belly. Untuck the toes, inhale, baby cobra or upward dog. Exhale, relax down. Inhale, move through child's pose. Exhale, hips to ceiling, downward dog. On your next inhale, 
Just sweep your right leg forward towards your right hand. So I'm in a long lunge. Back heel is lifted. Tented fingertips to support my upper body. Right foot connected. I'm gonna wiggle my back foot back a little bit further and drop the back knee. Untuck the back toes. Inhale, come on up. Knee down, crescent lunge. So just find some space between your ears and your shoulders. Reach the fingertips and open the heart center. So that let a little bit of a curve of your lower back happen. If it's too much, just back off. But if you're comfortable here, sink down into that left thigh a little further and find a nice full breath. One more inhale, and then exhale, hands down. Let's put the hands on the inside of the right foot this time. So back knee is down, right foot planted, hands on the inside of the right knee. Either stay here, tucking your right hip behind you, so you don't want your right hip way out to the side. Tuck your right hip behind you, or if it's comfortable, you can come down into lizard. So now I have my forearms down, inside of my right foot. Forearms parallel. And this is definitely a deep stretch, so it's quite nice to stay on your hand, okay? So my constant cycle of finding the pose here is tucking the right hip underneath me, softening the left thigh towards the mat, and drawing the shoulders away from the ear, relax the chest. Because as soon as I do that, my right hip pops out. So I do it again, tuck the right hip under, soften the left thigh, draw the shoulders down. Finding the middle ground where I can optimize all three that works for me. One more breath here. Exhale, relax. Walk the hands back up. And then we'll just tuck that right foot back and we'll come into a nice child's pose. So knees nice and wide. Sink your hips back. You can make a shelf under your forehead with your hands or you can relax the shoulders long. And just take a couple minutes, not a couple minutes, a couple breaths, just to relax your bum, lengthen your spine and soften through the groin. That's pretty intense through that pelvis and hips. Checking in before you inhale, roll back up. We'll just stay in tabletop for a moment. So wrists under the shoulders, fingers spread wide, root down into your index finger and your thumb. Try your shoulders away from the ears. Toes can be tucked or untucked. Let's inhale through cat cow. So inhaling cow pose, arching the spine, lifting the gaze. And then exhaling Rounding the spine, hanging the head, press between the shoulder blades and really arch the, or around the spine. Inhale, lifting the gaze. So really lift your tailbone, quiet your lower back. The lower back isn't the lever point. Press into your hands, around the spine. And maybe even wiggle around a little, side to side. Get into the side body. Inhale, really reach the chest forward, lift the tailbone, and exhale. And again, maybe wiggling around a little, shifting from side to side, side bending. Awesome, and then back to stillness. So we're gonna work on our thoracic rotation. So most of us will know these from class. So we're gonna take our left hand towards the middle of the mat. And as we inhale, we'll reach the right arm towards the ceiling. I'm gonna to work towards keeping the pelvis and the hips facing the mat, pressing into the left hand, and then reaching the collarbones wide and rolling the left shoulder back. So 
So the movement is through the rib cage and spine as much as it is through the shoulder and the pelvis. So there's my cycle of corrections there. Hips towards the mat, press into the hands, rotate away, repeat. All while breathing. Let's relax down, readjust, and we'll do the other side. So right hand comes towards the middle of the mat. Ensure your spine is straight. Inhale, reach up towards the ceiling, and then continue to adjust. So I readjust hips, pelvis towards the mat, press into the right hand in order to rotate the upper body away. Keep breathing, keep repeating those corrections. One more deep breath in. And then exhale, relax. Come back into child's pose just for a moment. Just let your lower back just soften there. So whenever there's stiffness of that rotation, our lower back will want to take that up. And sometimes that gets a little tricky for us. Okay, let's inhale. Back to tabletop. Prepare to come up to down dog. So take a nice inhale. Toes are tucked. And as we exhale, hips to the ceiling. Just cuddle your feet in down dog for a moment. Remember to hug the biceps towards your ears. Tailbone reaches to the ceiling, chest towards thigh. You're in that inverted triangle. Let's inhale, walk your feet towards your hands. Relax in forward fold. Take a couple breaths here. Remember to bend your knees. And then on your next inhale, just roll all the way up to Dasana. Awesome. So we'll do all that on the other side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart center, forward fold. Inhale, half back stretch. So spine gets long, that's your hip hinge. Exhale, soften, fold. Inhale, plant your hands, step back plank. Exhale, down through chaturanga, dropping the knees if you like. Inhale, baby cobra or upward dog. Exhale down, tuck the toes, move through the knees. Inhale, downward dog. Take an extra breath here. And on your next inhale, the left leg comes forward. Your right foot plants between your hands. Long lunge. So find that long line from your heel all the way to the crown of the head. Wiggle your right leg back and then drop your right knee. Untuck your right toes. Find your balance. Inhale, knee down, crescent lunge. Dropping your shoulders away from your ears. And then finding that balance between not too much, not too little, just enough that you can work into that. Let's take the hands down on the inside of the left foot. If you need more space, you can always wiggle your left foot left. So just opening up the hips a bit more. And then again, find some integrity and alignment here. So I'm tucking my left hip underneath and just drawing the shoulders away from the ears. This is a lovely position. So either stay here or if it's available, you can take your forearms down to your mat. Remembering that this side might feel completely different. Much more difficult on this side for me. So again, I'm gonna work to hug my left hip in and back, drop the shoulders, and just find that balance. It also helps me to just do 
little bit of light pelvic floor lift and a little bit of lower abdominal. So I'm basically pulling my pubic bone up and in to kind of find more neutral my pelvis so my back isn't as arch. So a couple of nice deep breaths here. And then let's walk that up. Bring your left knee back, nice wide leg. Sink back into your child's pose. You can be dynamic in your child's pose here, wiggling around a little. You can see if it feels better with knees together versus knees apart. You wanna soften through your lower back, your bum, your belly, and just kind of checking in. So oftentimes if I come out of a more kind of deeper asana like that lizard pose, you can kind of feel the intensity after. And that's where we want to kind of regroup, bring the body back to more softness. So we're not just moving from one kind of stressor to another. We're kind of going into length, into challenge, drawing back in, regrouping, moving forward. Okay, inhale, back up through tabletop. We're gonna move through one more flow and one more pose, and then we'll kind of wind it back down. So we're back in our tabletop, toes are tucked. We'll take a nice inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Take a breath in your downward dog. And on your next inhale, walk your feet up to your hands, forward fold. And then we can inhale, roll all the way back up to standing. Everybody good? So we're gonna find triangle pose and I want us to be pretty gentle with it. I'll talk you through it. Um, if you see pictures of triangle pose, the models are often like crazy deep into the pose. We will not do that. We will be a little bit more gentle, but uh, I encourage you to work with it if it's good for you. So we'll inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, hands down through heart center, forward fold. Inhale through half back stretch. And exhale, fold. Inhale, plant your hands, step back plank. Exhale, move down through chaturanga. Untuck your toes, inhale, baby cobra or upper duck. Exhale, down, tuck your toes. Inhale, move through, knees down, exhale, downward dog. Okay, so we'll inhale, take your right foot forward to meet your left, or to meet both hands back in your long lunge. So just find your long lunge first. Make sure you're balanced here. Also remember we want your feet to be about hip width apart. So do make sure that left foot is left of your right foot. That doesn't need to be kind of on a tight rope. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna seal your back foot like warrior one. So my back foot is on an angle. So it's not perpendicular. It's about a 30, 45 degree angle. And I'm feeling the whole foot. So my pinky side of the foot's down as well. Okay, so I'm tucked into this kind of awkward lunge position. Now, I'm gonna take my right hand on the inside of my right leg, and I'm gonna to start to straighten my right knee. For me, this is really challenging, so it's gonna be pretty darn straight, or pretty darn bent, rather. So if you have access, you can fully straighten that right knee, but only if that feels that you have both strength and the space to do so. So again, my hips reach back, my right knee starts to straighten, and then I'm gonna come up into standing here. Okay? So you can put your hands on your hips if you want a bit more stability. Now my right hips go back a little further, my knee doesn't change. I turn the upper body to the left, and I tuck my tailbone under. 
there's my position for the triangle pose. Then I take my body towards the right thigh and I can reach the hands towards the ceiling and towards the floor. And that's my triangle pose. Mine might be a bit more like a quadrangle because my right knee is bent so much. So my weight is back in the pelvis, but anchored through the feet and the upper body is rotated to the left. Take two more deep breaths here. And then we'll unseal your back foot, roll the arms back down to the mat, untuck your back heel, and let's step back into your down dog. Hopefully that was clear as mud, but we can try the other side. So it's a lot of length. So find your downward dog, pedal your feet, collect your breath in your body, and we'll try the other side. So we're gonna inhale left leg, left foot to meet right hand, long lunge. Find that alignment first. Then we'll seal the back foot. So find the angle. Back leg is straight, left leg still bent in your lunge. Now I'm gonna start to straighten my left knee, hips go back. Okay, find your limit there. Then we can come up into standing, hands to the hips. Awesome. So now hips go back, knee stays the same, rotate the body to the right. Find that first, you can always stay here. I need to correct my pelvis so I lift from the lower front core, lengthen my tailbone, and then I can find that fingertips reaching away. So left fingertips towards the left foot, right fingertips towards the ceiling. So my hips reach back, my upper body rotates right. Let's take two more nice deep breaths here. And then let's unwind, untuck, unseal the back heel, hands towards the mat, drop the right knee, and let's come back into our child's pose. I think triangle pose is one of the prettiest looking poses yet one of the most difficult to do. So really soften through your bum, your hamstrings here, because they probably took a lot of effort. Nice deep breath. Now, if you're comfortable in your child's pose, reaching your hands long, let's go palms to the mat, arms reaching long as your hips reach back. And then we'll just walk your hands towards the right and find that nice C curve in your child's pose. So reaching fingertips away, but drawing hips backwards. And then inhaling back through center. And then adjusting and walking your hands left. So see if you can create that nice C curve through your spine. And softening into that. We'll inhale, walk our hands back to center. And then let's come all the way down, lying onto your tummy. So let's lay on your stomach, create a pillow with your hands under your forehead, laying all the way straight down. Untuck your toes. If it's more comfortable, you can bring your feet a little bit wider. And just take three or four deep breaths into your belly. When you inhale, Breathe to press your body away by breathing into the mat. 
And when you exhale, let the whole body relax down. Now let's inhale, bend the knees, and just windshield wiper the legs on your tummy. So knees are bent to 90 degrees. Shins and feet are just windshield wipering from side to side. And just kind of notice. Now ideally, this doesn't go through your spine. So your lower back and your spine should be fairly still. There's a little bit of movement at the end of the range of motion. So we want the movement to happen through the hips as much as possible. If you find that your hips run out of real estate and your spine starts to twist, just go about halfway then with your hips. Don't go as far. And just kind of notice. Awesome. Okay, coming back to stillness. Now we're gonna take yourself up onto your forearm. Take your left knee up into like that frog pose. Okay. You're gonna reach your left arm long. So left knee's high, left arm's long. Then you're gonna take your right arm underneath. So I'm all twisted. Once you find that, take an inhale and then just roll onto your back. And now I'm in a twist with my head at the opposite end of the mat. So you can take your right hand to your left thigh, left hand to a T and just adjust as you need. My left knee is way up from the max. I just don't have that mobility. But my chest is open and my back of the shoulders are to the mat. And it's just a different way of going into a twist. So let's hang out here for a few breaths. Again, adjust the height of the leg if you want. It is a little bit of a deeper twist. And then we're gonna inhale, come all the way back to your tummy, readjust on your mat, and we'll just do that other side. So right knee into that half frog on your forearm, reach your right arm long and weave your left arm underneath. So then you can peel your right arm back, roll onto your back, and a twist. This side is much easier for me. So again, long spine, take the curve out of your lower back, take your left hand to your right knee, right arm to a T if that's comfortable, the back of the neck nice and long. Couple more breaths here. And then let's inhale back to your tummy. And we can prop ourselves up, come into sitting with the feet out in front. We'll bend the knees. So come to the top of your mat, knees bent. And you can bring your hands on the top of your thighs and just roll back and take a couple deep breaths into your lower back after that twist. Let's transition, move all the way down to our back again, and just gently hug the knees into the chest. Do a little bit of rock and rolling here. Maybe circling those knees again. 
and just notice what you notice. And let's weave our hands down into happy baby. So hands are on the outside of the shins or the pinky sides of the feet. Elbows are on the inside of the knees. We can straighten the knees so that our feet are flexed like we're standing on the ceiling and the thighs roll down along the side body. Reach your spine back down, or your spine, your sacrum, your tailbone back down to the mat so that you can really move through the hips. So this might feel quite tight in the groin. You can adjust. And it feels really good to rock from side to side, maybe even straightening your knee as you roll to that side. And you can kind of move into your hamstrings a little. This is a different version of the happy baby. So breathe deeply into your hips, your pelvis. And just kind of notice. Now coming back to stillness, let's bring the feet together and the knees are so wide and then really hug those feet towards you as your knees go wide kind of like butterfly pose but your feet are off the mat breathe all the way down into your pelvis and then undo relax knees to the mat a couple windshield wipers from side to side and then we're going to start to transition back down to our Shavasana, unless there's anything else that would feel good for you right now. Put your socks on if you like, sweater, grab a blanket, and we'll make room for a few minutes of quiet before completing our practice. Amazing. So. Find your most comfortable Shavasana or corpse pose. Oh shit, I got out. Uh. <laughs> I lost you guys. I think we can still hear you, Jen. Oh good, because someone in my house must have tried to log in to Zoom. <laughs> So in any event, we're going to go down to Shavasana. Oh my goodness gracious, there's always something. Well, I'm glad you could hear me. I looked up and no one was there. Okay, a couple moments, a couple minutes, a nice quiet, Breath led stillness. Check back in with your breath. Find the quiet in your body. And keep your presence on your yoga mat for just a couple more minutes. Bring wandering thoughts back to your awareness of the breath.
starting to deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Notice what you notice here. In your own time, when you're ready, just roll onto your right side and curl up into a little ball. And just take a couple more breaths to center yourself before coming up into your cross-legged seated position. As you come to sitting, just take your hands to heart center. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, just bow your head. One more deep breath in. And a full exhale. From my light to yours, namaste. Thanks, everybody. Sorry about the glitch. Thanks, Jen. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great rest of the weekend. Um, there's still class 10.15 next Sunday. Danny's going to do it. So expect a real good mobility activation, all good things, 60 minutes. And uh, we'll see what happens. If the gym reopens, we may not still have yoga. We'll, we'll kind of play it by ear. So. All right, have a good rest of the weekend. Stay warm. And uh, we'll catch you guys soon. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. Thanks, Jen. Bye. Have a great weekend, everyone. Valentine's Day. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. I'm going to go eat chocolate. <laughs>